All right, hey everybody, Miss Lynch here. Um, I am here to talk to you about some note taking. So this is for everybody, all classes, 1483 and 1493. Um, and kind of the beauty, I guess, of doing stuff online is that if you guys feel behind at any point, you can pause, you can just pause the video um, and get caught up. But I thought that I would go ahead and just kind of give you guys the same little spiel that I do in class so that you have these skills um, and maybe it can help with some of your other courses as well. Okay, so uh, what I do in class is we watch just this quick YouTube video and it's like here are the different note-taking styles. So there's a way that you can do it in columns, which my brain doesn't quite comprehend um, as an historian. And then there's like a brainstorming method or brain mapping, I should say. Uh, there's what's called the Cornell method. But really what I want us to focus on is just basic outline note taking. So in the past, whenever I would put up PowerPoint presentations and lecture, there was a lot of panic from people to try to get every word down and everything written out in the full sentence that I was using and that's not what this is about and it doesn't yeah, it doesn't need to be that complicated so whenever I am talking um well, let me back up so I feel like what has helped me in the past with my own note-taking was in high school I had to take shorthand and really what shorthand does is you're just writing and you kind of take out all of the vowels in every word so you can still look at it and get a sense of what the word is. But because of that, I really got in the habit of just abbreviating everything as I go and taking vowels out and just simplifying as much as possible. And yeah, kind of doing things in an outline and just condensing, really condensing, yeah, as much as you can. So I thought I would give you guys a little quick guide to some of the abbreviations that I use for myself and that we're gonna use a lot in this class. So, oh yeah, in case, for those of you who watched my first video, I had my little dry erase board there and it immediately fell when I was done recording. So, I thought we won't do that again. And I'll put my little Soviet art up there and instead I will just write on this board and hold it up when we need it. Okay, so, try not to get my lamp, like the glare from my lamp in there. But as you guys can see, <laughs> this is so strange. Um, these are, yes, these are ones that if I were taking notes, I would use and ones that I just kind of developed over time. So if you want to copy these down, you can always pause it and do that. But real quick, I'll run through. So I use IA or FA for Indigenous American or First American. That's a big one we'll use. Um, I don't use the term Native American. Um, American Indian is... All right for some communities, but just for all intents and purposes of this class, I'm going to use one or the other, Indigenous American or First American, all right? Um, AA is another one. Just This is just for your notes, you know, just to help speed things through. Um, I had people in the past who have given me their research papers with these abbreviations. So it's not so much for that, it's just for note-taking, okay? But so, moving on. Um, so AA I use for African American whenever we get to that. Um, Asian American, I do A, little s, A, so it just helps me distinguish. Latinx, LX. Uh, Caucasian American, C, A. Women, I'll always write out as a W. And then, so I'm, I'm giving this video for, like I said, all classes, so I'm really trying to get that glare out. Um, some of these will apply to your class and not the other. But so this is just kind of an idea, especially for like wars and stuff, whenever we get to things like that where I say the name of that the title of whatever it is we're talking about a lot. So like AR, American Revolution, CW, um, Civil War, The North, The South. This is a one that we all know and have seen forever. World War One, World War Two, WW, um, Vietnam War, VW is one. And so this is just kind of my list. I don't expect you guys to use it, but that's just an idea if you need some help. Uh, some inspiration for your own way of doing it. There are lots of videos out there to watch if uh, you feel like you need somebody else's guidance in that. But 
I say all of this because as I go through the semester, I will give you guys these videos and I really want you to, I will speak at the same rate that I speak in class, which means I want you to be writing as I'm speaking. You'll notice that I'll kind of slow down, I'll take breaks, and if you're not doing that and you're kind of just focusing on me, it's gonna get super boring, super quick. So taking notes helps, it gives you something to do. It helps you retain and absorb the words that I'm saying. So it's just the best way to do it. So as we get going, you will have your PowerPoint in front of you. You'll queue up your video so you can hear me talking and we'll work through everything together and you will take notes basically is the plan, okay? Hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of guidance in that area. I think that you'll get more comfortable as you go. You'll pick up the pace. You kind of get your own groove. And then, yeah, like I said, this should help with other classes too. So as you guys go through school, you'll, you know, you'll get quicker and, and better. So your hand will hurt less. You'll develop muscle. So. <laughs> um, okay, well, I think that's all I have for you guys for note-taking stuff. I am going to record... My first lectures right after this, so those are on the way. Okay, I will talk to everyone later. Goodbye.